Welcome everyone. This is probably going to be a controversial video. It's probably going to get a lot of pushback, whether that be dislikes or just angry comments. But I just wanted to put it out there and let you know how I feel. Um, the reason why I'm invested in Cardano, I mean, it's a one-on-one -on -one project just like this tie, is because I'm very excited about, the, the thing that excites me the most about Cardano is the smart contracts, because I think that this is what takes crypto from being just a speculative asset with no real utility to something that has utility in the future. So while people may hate on Ethereum, I think that Ethereum has more utility than most other cryptos in the space. And today I'm gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and uh, I know I'm just gonna get a lot of pushback, but you know, it doesn't change the facts. I'm going to set the ground rules here. Bitcoin is probably going to go to a very high value in this at some point in time. Bitcoin is gonna to continue to exist. None of what I say is going to impact or affect Bitcoin whatsoever. I'm not, I don't think that Bitcoin is, is necessarily gonna to crash to, to abysmal values in the future. I think it has a, probably a huge potential and a, a great future moving forward. But to the average person or the average person that's not even familiar with crypto. If you explain to them Bitcoin, it, if you explain to them crypto in general, it almost sounds, it really does. If you look at the test and if you see all the, the attributes of what a pyramid scheme is, it almost seems like a pyramid scheme. And there are plenty of pyramid schemes. Pyramid schemes, I mean, they have very negative connotations, but pyramid schemes can be very successful. I don't know about you, but uh, Mary Kay is a pyramid scheme. Uh, so is Tupperware. Tupperware is a pyramid scheme. I don't know how many of you have had friends or families of friends that have come and thrown little parties at your house or parties at other people's houses, selling Tupperware products, Mary Kay products, uh, weight loss products. There's a ton of them. Any, any toilet type of neighborhood, you're going to find someone that is pushing these products. And you may find uh, the kingpin of those product pushers. They may be driving a car that has a special decal. In my neighborhood, there's a lady that has a gigantic Cadillac Escalade. I don't know how old it is now, but I've been seeing her for, I don't know, five, 10 years. And it is completely pink. It has Mary Kay, it has all her business information. And, you know, she throws parties at people's houses, this and that, gives the people the catalog and gets people into, multi-level marketing selling so mlm schemes or pyramid schemes not necessarily meaning that they have any negative connotations but it means that you need someone inside the system in order to pump up the price of your product or ultimately pay your salary and if you look at crypto twitter crypto twitter is a giant mlm it's a giant mlm for crypto it's a giant mlm for bitcoin because at the end of the day you know the only thing bitcoin Crypto Twitter Bitcoin people are pushing is the idea that they want more people to invest, have your 0.1 Bitcoin, have your one Bitcoin, and you're gonna be the world's wealthiest person at some point, or you're gonna have a majority of the, the, the wealth within, within, within this whole ecosystem. They're gonna use words like, we're going into hyperinflation. Previous video, I don't think we're going into hyperinflation, we're going to a deflationary period. Um, this is to escape for the banks this and that, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I've had more problems with banks than 90 to 95% of the people in crypto out there. Most of the people have had, never have had a problem with banks, and I still trust like Bank of America and certain banks over certain crypto exchanges. So a lot of people are talking smack, they've had all these issues with banks, and they really haven't. I'm sure there are some people that have been ostracized in the banking system and have had life become extremely difficult because of that. But at the same time, I don't think this is a super valid reason. So that's one reason. The reason why I also consider it sort of an MLM or sort of a pyramid scheme is because I, I don't see a lot of value. And I know a lot of people, a lot of other people see value. It's a store value, this and that. But if you look at the, the, the white papers, the, the Satoshi's vision, if you, if you read it, it was supposed to be used as cash. At the end of the day, I'm gonna use PayPal as cash or regular cash as cash over Bitcoin for probably eternity. The fees are astronomical, astronomical. 
and people have been talking about Lightning Network this, Lightning Network that. Well, we've been hearing about Lightning Network for the longest period of time. And we've come to find out that Lightning Network is just a centralized solution of someone running their own little business enterprise that's not even, that's not even profitable. It fails over transactions that are over a certain value, and it's a very low dollar value. It can't even process transactions. Uh, I read somewhere that I think a million dollars of Bitcoin transactions or a million dollar investment into a Lightning node yields some like, something like $200 or something less. I may, I may be misquoting it, but it was an astronomically low amount for the amount invested in. So anyway, it's not really a real solution because it's supposed to be decentralized and you're just creating these centralized kind of servers in order to process transactions. So we're kind of deviating from the point. But at the end of the day, PayPal is so much easier to use than, uh, than, than Bitcoin. Uh, Venmo, you have a whole bunch of different payment apps that you can Zelle, that you can just send money and it's free. I mean, there are no fees and it's instant. It is instant. I don't know how many people have had issues sending like PayPal transactions or PayPal things from one party to another. It's instant. And people are worried about like the government looking at your transactions. No one cares about your $20 twenty dollar payment from John to Joe or your, your your thirty dollar purchase on eBay. I mean if you're dealing with big big money, maybe you want to just kind of skirt the law a little bit or try to hide some transactions, then it is what it is. But for the everyday average person that's transacting in you know with tens, hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars, it really doesn't even matter. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Quick settlement times with PayPal, quick this Quick, quick settlement times with Zelle, quick settlement times with uh, Venmo, it's instant, it is instant. So why would I use something where I have to pay in order to send money to that particular person? So, and then people are gonna say the store of value, but is it really a store of value or is it a store of value that for people that have lost their ass for like three years and then figured out how to buy at low points and sell at high points? But the majority of people, especially if you look in the 2017 bull run, they bought at ten thousand dollars up, up to twenty thousand dollars, up to twenty thousand dollars, and you're just gonna call them. People in the crypto space will just call them. Oh wow, they're stupid. You know, why'd you invest in that? So which one is it? Which one is it? Like, so you're stupid for not investing at a low price, but it's a store of value. So how's it a store of value? I mean, it was twenty thousand in twenty seventeen. It's still not twenty thousand. It's not a store of value. Nothing in crypto right now is a store of value. You can consider maybe Tether a store of value or USDC a store of value, but losing that much of the, the amount of wealth in a certain period of time and saying it's a store of value, nonsensical, nonsensical. Don't understand that. And you know the argument to be made, you bought at the wrong time. That's not really an argument because PayPal, it's never like you, you sent money at the wrong time. You can send money all day, every day. So I wanna know what you think. I, I think that crypto was an MLM and as a whole, and that's why I think that investing in projects that have smart contract solutions or something more to offer is where to go. And Cardano is one of them. Cardano is coming out with smart contracts. They're coming out with Plutus. They're gonna be coming out with voting. There are so many applications that can be used in Cardano. And if you just take a look at my channel, you'll see that I've been speculating of, of use cases for the past couple of years of what could be done. So at this point, we're still very novice and we still have a long way to go. But if we're able to accomplish those things, we graduate from that no utility phase to that utility phase. And at this point in the, at this point in the game, you need to have smart contracts. You need to have some kind of governance on your platform in order for the crypto project to have any sort of validity in my eyes. So we're on our way to get there. It's going to take some time. So this is an unpopular opinion, and I, I guarantee you most of you will probably not, not agree with me. But remember, are you not agreeing with me because you own BTC or you own BTC with the, the, the notion that it's going to increase your wealth astronomically? Even so, even if you own BTC, even if you think it's still going to the moon, I agree with you. But at the end of the day, a very low utility. It can be used. It can be used as cash, but there are so many other things that can be used, used as cash as well. And it doesn't take away from the success of the project because Tupperware and Mary Kay are MLMs, and there are better, higher quality products out there. 
instead of using Tupperware, you can use the OXO brand, which has that safety seal and you can push it and it airlocks your containers. There are much better brands, I'm sure, than Mary Kay. I'm not sure what they are, but I'm sure they exist. So having this whole system where you need one person in order to shill it to other people down the pyramid, in order to boost up the price of the BTC, make sure every person on Twitter owns one BTC, then we can really eat up the supply. That's the definition of multi-level marketing, definition. And will it be successful? Probably yes, because that's how the world works. But does it have utility? Does it, is it more, does it have more utility than what services are offered right now? That's yet to be determined. So until the next video, let me know what you think, thoughts and concerns. I appreciate you. Bye.